on Hell's Kitchen. Now, let's go. The chefs were challenged to cook creatively with beer, wine, and liquor. This is the sherry, this is the marsala. Served to them by two very recognizable bartenders. So I'm a bartender, so you can tell me, you know, any problems you're having in life. <laughs> <laughs> Legally, I've only been drinking for like a year and a half. While guest judge John Ratzenberger cheered for Allison's ribeye and poured wine sauce. That's excellent. You guys get your own. It was Josh's bourbon-glazed grilled pork that impressed Chef Ramsay. For me, it's a four. And won the challenge for the men. I got you. Yeah. But the excitement was short-lived. Wow! Medic? When an old injury flared up and left Brett in excruciating pain. Oh, oh my. Forcing him to withdraw from the competition. I'm sorry. It was a fucking honor. At dinner service. Josh, you ready to walk to Risotto's? With Brett gone, the blue team struggled to communicate. Walk in the snow. No, no. Hey, not yet. Get back there. Leading Randy to flounder on the fish station. I grew up with fish and chips, and it wasn't soggy like that. And Adam to have a complete meltdown on the meat station. Take a look at our guests. They deserve that. No, Chef. Why and how is this happening right now? In the red kitchen. Two special lap table side, two mussels, two Caesar salad, entree. Sometimes it's like, whoa. whoa. Although Christine stumbled on appetizers. Two risottos? No risotto. Michelle took control from the garnish station. Come on, guys, pick it up. I want everyone to know that I am a leader in this kitchen. And led the red team to victory. I'd like the red team to take up the blue team. I'd like the blue team to fuck off out of here. The men were forced to nominate two members and chose Randy and Adam. But Chef Ramsay wanted to hear from someone else as well. Josh. In the end, he chose Adam who saw his dream of becoming head chef at Caesars Atlantic City come to an end. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of here, guys. This is not good at all for the team. We got rid of two strong players. I would trade Josh and Randy for the two players that we lost today. Honestly, I am happy Brett's gone. Because of clown. He like, thinks he is from the hood. I'm fucking carrying this team, yo. Where I come from, you know, I grew up like fucking rough, man. You're from fucking Miami Beach, Florida. It's just ridiculous. Oh my God, Nick is a cat character. He is just hilarious. I'm a catty, sarcastic, sassy little bitch. All queens are catty. It's okay. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? You are a queen. Look at you. It's okay. Oh, oh my God. It's okay. T and I have bonded over the Brett scenario, but also. T and I are both gay. But I love you, you're a professional queen. So it's nice to kind of relate in that way. You would get along with my girlfriend perfectly. I, I kind of want to meet her, I want to see her. I hope you will. While Nick tries to shake off the lingering effects of the night before. I am feeling <laughs> tired this morning. All of the chefs head downstairs, ready to take on anything. Let's go. Guys and shine, let's go. Uh, oh. Oh, God. Well, almost anything. What? Oh, I don't know about that. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Good morning, chef. Yeah. Megan, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, nothing. If I have to touch these things, I am literally going to have a mental breakdown. What's the matter, guys? Uh, I'm definitely freaking out. I saw the snake eyeing me down. Ugh. <laughs> As you can see, I brought in many exotic animals that many cultures view as delicacies. Oh, God. 
them in a day. In Cambodia, for example, tarantulas are a staple and they cook them by deep frying them. Then there's that iguana over there, Mr. Friendly. They are used in stews throughout El Salvador. Then there are the rats. Oh. But in the far reaches of Vietnam, rats are used in soups. I am not eating any rats. I don't give a fuck if it's a delicacy. This is, oh my god, no, no, no. And over there, we have two Slytherin snakes. Oh, there's two in there. Wait a second. Where's the other snake? <laughs> what does he mean, where's the other snake? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Funny. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm not sticking around. Sayonara, bitches. I'm out. <laughs> there are some really creeped out people. I ain't afraid of this big rubber snake. Come on, man. Gosh, you just jumped like six oh, feet. Excuse me. <laughs> if only you moved like that in service, I would have a dream team. Oh, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, one rubber snake? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, haha, ha, funny, the one fell, we all fucking shit a brick. If it happens again, I'm using my teammates as a shield. It's not fair. It's raining snakes, it's not cool. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, you really jumped there. Okay, time to get ready for your next challenge. Thank you, James. Beneath each dome, there is a delicious, exotic protein. When I reveal the protein, do not hesitate. Because the first person from the blue team first person for the red team, grab the protein, we'll cook that protein. As soon as he opens that dome, if it's definitely like a meat that I can handle or I think I can cook, I'm running towards it because I did not want to get stuck with some creepy thing like tarantulas. The first protein is ostrich. I'll go, I'll go, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Randy, you got it first. Randy and Christine, you're cooking with ostrich, yeah? The second protein is alligator. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, Millie. You know, I've seen crocodile 100 million times, so I would have wrestled that alligator. I know I'm a damn sure make it tasty. Andy and I are going to reveal the last two proteins at the same mm -hmm. time. <laughs> we have wild boar and elk. Nice. Me? Uh. What the fuck's a wild boar? <laughs> Holy shit. I shoot wild boar all the time and I was stationed in Louisiana and I got ostrich. I might have screwed myself. Michelle, you don't have a protein. No, chef. Which of the four proteins do you want? Alligator, chef. Alligator. Good, thank you. Your 40 minutes starts now. Let's go, guys. Chef Ramsay has designed this test to challenge the chef's ability to adapt, as they'll be required to be creative with unusual proteins. What do you know about alligator, Megan? Um, nothing. To go along with their exotic meats, the chefs may use any of the hundreds of ingredients that are provided for them in their kitchen. I'm just happy we're not playing with tarantulas right now. Just over 15 minutes to go. What's everybody doing? Grind this up, I'm gonna make an ostrich burger. Ostrich burger? Nice. I think Randy is a one-trick pony because you can't just keep serving burgers. You need to step outside the box before your luck runs out. Does anybody have a lemon? First, snakes are raining on me, and now I have to figure out what to do with alligator. I've never used alligator before, but I hope Chef Randy loves it. Oh, good. One minute to go. Oh, my god. Come on. Let's go, baby. Behind, behind, behind. Five, four, three, Two, Bye. one, and serve, guys. Well done. Great job. Some amazing looking dishes. Red team, Michelle and T, you cooked the alligator, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So you've got one minute as a team to decide whose dish you're going to present. Hurry up. All right, Taste. I mean curry. Cheese. 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 It's the curry right there with coconut rice and Asian veg. Ooh. Where's yours, T? Right here. I know T didn't taste my dish, but I tasted hers. It's pretty good. You know, taco? Yeah. All right, taco. Corn tea. So we went with the tacos. OK, ladies, who are we dropping? Uh, mine, chef. I'm really disappointed right now because I feel like I've proved myself so far in this competition. And it's like everyone's ignoring that fact. 
Okay, today I've uh, brought in a couple of special guest judges. They are meat maestros. In fact, one of the restaurants is appropriately named Animal. <laughs> Please say hello to John Shook and Vinny Detolo. Oh, nice. Thanks, How are you, sir? You good? Yeah, good I'm to great. see you. Thanks, How are you? Well? Good to be here, yes. Man, I don't like sitting out. Let's begin with the Battle of the Elk. Let's go, Elk. Allison and Nick. In today's Exotic Meats Challenge, all three judges will taste each dish and award points on a scale of one to five. Nick, describe yes, the dish, please. A warm spice elk, and it has a parsnip puree. I think it's actually really beautiful. It's pretty. Thank you, Chef. Take it, please. Even though the dish is beautiful, it's really yeah. bland. Yeah. I think salt would have taken you to another level. The screaming seasoning. How would you judge that? Score out of five. Let me give that a two. I'm gonna stay with two. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree, so I'm a two. Alison, describe your dish, please. A pan seared elk. I have a bit of potatoes and also some sauteed bok choy. Visually, John? Uh, it looks pretty immature right now, just by the cut of the potatoes. People eat with their eyes first. If it looks like shit, then you're expected to taste like shit. So I hope it's disgusting. What would you give that out of five? Three. <laughs> Three? Okay. Nice. I would give it a two. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna give it a three. Uh, it tastes way better than it looks. Thank you, Chef. Sorry, Nick. Mine tastes way better. Eight to six. Come on, In the battle of the wild boar, executive chef Megan is presenting her seared boar with vegetables. John, how was that for you? Seems safe to me. Vinny. Everything kind of just went like salt and flat. Uh, John, how would you mark that out of five, please? I'll give it a three. I'm gonna give you a two. For me, it's a three. These guys are fucking badasses. They're fucking rock stars. And I gave them safe. Great. Awesome. OK, uh, Josh. Josh's pan-seared boar is accented with roasted pepper sauce and is served on a bed of cauliflower puree. Your cauliflower made everything else kind of muddled. Slightly undercooked as well. Vinny, I'm going to give him a three. I'm going to give him a two. I'm a two. With the women up by three points, it's time for T and Millie to present their alligator dishes to the judges. These guys know their gators. First up is Millie's blackened alligator with grits. But I think it could use a little salt. You were there, though. You had the right direction. Yeah, I think it had room for improvement. I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to give it a three as well. I agree. Three across uh, the board. Thank you. Up next, the dish that the red team selected over Michelle's. Cheese fried alligator tacos. For me, it had great flavor. Yeah, I mean, it's everything. It's got the acidity, it's got the heat, the crunch as well. So, yeah, good job. Scores, please, Vinny. Three, please. I'm gonna give it a four. Um, four. Thank you, sir. At this point, all I want is that W for the fucking team. That's all I want. It is all down to the battle of the ostrich. Let's go. With the women ahead by five, the men are hoping that Randy and his ostrich burger... Oh, man, I love a burger. ...can score a lot more points than Christine's marinated ostrich on a bed of orzo. John, how's that, sir? The carrots, the orzo, the sauce was good. Mm -hmm. But the actual meat, which is the star of the show, was mm -hmm. a little bland. It was a little safe for me. I'm going to give you a two. I'm going to give you two as well. I'm a two. Wow. Six. If Christine had a bag of tricks, this would have been the time to pull it out. With the women holding a sizable 11-point lead, it all comes down to Randy, who'll need to score higher than any other man has so far to clinch a victory. Randy, please describe your dish. I used the bacon grease to try to incorporate some fat into the ostrich when I made my burger. I'm worried at this point because without Uncle Randy pulling out a 12, you know, we lose this. Gents, visually. Man, that really looks like crap. What, even though it looked like Duke, yeah. tasted great. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. I'm going to give you a four for this. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go four, two. Four, two. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a four, two. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Men win. Thank you, Randy. Like one point. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Oh, yeah. Shout out Randy for pulling out an ostrich burger. Woohoo! Blue team! Michelle, can we just have a quick taste of your dish? Two of them made alligator, and of course they had to drop one. So they picked? Yeah, they picked us. Have a little taste of that. Describe the dish, please. It's an Asian-inspired alligator curry with coconut rice. That was the best dish of the day. Oh. I would have given that a five. 
Wow. Good job, Michelle. Wow. I'd probably give that a five as well. I, I would've given it a five as well. This is just great. We're gonna hear about this probably for the duration of the fucking competition. All of you, join me in thanking these two phenomenal guys, yeah? Please. Hi, right, guys. As always, thank, thank you. Good to see you, sir. Yep. Yeah, thank you, guys. Really good thank you. Good, thank good you. luck, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Best wishes. Blue team, well done. Thank you, Sean. Sure. And I think you could use a little bit of relaxation and pampering. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, just That's so. why I've arranged for you all to travel to the Ultra Hip Lounge Spa. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. I wish if you got the perfect score of the day, even if you're on the losing team, you get the reward. Ladies, uh, you're in for a terribly exhausting day because it's time for Hell's Kitchen to undergo its first major deep clean. I want some elbow, elbow grease. Once the kitchens are clean, uh, I think you deserve an energy boost. So I've arranged for a delicious protein shake that you're sure to find interesting. I want both teams to head upstairs. Men, you have an amazing day. Enjoy. <sighs> I would have loved the other dude to give me a four. I would have loved for the other dude to give me a three. I would have loved for my dish to count. I have a long day of cleaning. Come on, let's start. Hey, how's it going? So, gentlemen, are you ready for your thank luxurious you, spa day? Yes. yes. Like that. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I've never had a professional facial before. I'm Josh. So I'm really excited to, you know, pop the facial cherry. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy. It just smells so lovely, it puts you right into the mood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Randy, you good over there? I'm glad we won. He sounds thrilled. <laughs> I am not a spa guy. I've never been to a spa. Randy, how are you, how are you liking it so far? I was intense. I didn't need a massage. I have a feeling I'm gonna catch shit for this. How you catch shit for getting a massage, Randy? <laughs> <laughs> you too tough to get a massage? It's <laughs> making me feel uncomfortable. Randy does not look like he's relaxing at all. Randy, chill. It's chill time, dog. We could be cleaning though, it could be a lot worse. Definitely a long day of cleaning. Everyone was very quiet just because it was a lot of scrubbing. It's intense, like, it's not easy. All right, guys, come for your lunch. Lunch. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. God help me. It was a light. They look delicious. That's what I'm worried about. I'm a little scared. Come line up, guys. Yes, yes chef. chef. I see the sprinkles, but I know that things are not what they appear to be um, in Hell's Kitchen. They do look nice, though. I wonder what's in them. They're nice and big. That means something chunky. chunky. <laughs> oh, gross. This is not good. Some of these might be familiar to you because they're the proteins that we use today. Oh. Meat milkshakes. Oh, my god. Disgusting. Dear. And one of them is a milkshake. It's like the lottery. If you win, you win. If not, then you, it's not losing. You gave it your best. It was a luck. Mine's a milkshake. Yay! You got a milkshake? Is it good? Mm -hmm. Enjoy. It was like a chunky fish milkshake with like other animal protein. Vanilla, 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 vanilla. Just think of the gamiest meat that you can fucking find. And you just like blend it down to look like ice cream and it's not. Oh. Oh. You know what? If my dish would have gone up, we would have won. So it's you guys' fault that we're here. So swallow those fucking milkshakes. I'm happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is coming up. Oh my god. Alright, let's go back to cleaning. Oh, 
Fuck me, chef. Jesus Christ. Ah. I know. Maybe I'll let you touch it if you're lucky. You want to feel how fuzzy it is? You want to touch it? Wait, your hands dirty? No. You've been cleaning all day. Let me see. (laughs) Fuzzy. You want to touch my face? Oh my god. (laughs) Yeah, pumpkin. I would much rather be getting a facial right now than giving the oven a facial. It sucks. I'm really not in the mood to do this anymore. Oh, God, my back is killing me. Oh. You know what you could have gone for was for massage. <laughs> you see this? Like, oh, fuck off. Sure I would right. die to be in the spa. They don't even appreciate shit like that. They're like, okay, we want a reward. We're going to go to the spa. Run, 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 run. Hello? Alison, it's Chef. Tell everybody to stop what they're doing. I need to see them in the dining room urgently. Yes, Chef. Right away. Let's okay. go. All right. Dude, everyone get the fuck downstairs. It's oh, Chef Ramsey. Like, yeah, like, he's like, Chef. like, like you need to run. Are you serious? Okay. Chef Ramsey wants us down right now. And halfway down the stairs, I'm thinking, shit, I'm wearing a robe and I have no shoes. Never really know what to expect. I just hope it doesn't hurt. Josh, what were you and Nick doing? <laughs> we, were, we were sitting on the couch when we got the call, Chef. I know it was spa day, but holy mackerel. I get it, Chef. Okay. Something very important I need to tell you all. I want to talk to each and every one of you one-on-one in my office tonight. Oh my God, I don't know what the fuck to expect, but all I know is that my heart is pounding. I think it's important that I evaluate your individual performance. Got it? Yes, Yes, sir. I want you all to head back into the dorms. I'll call you when I'm ready. Uh, Josh, Nick, get some fucking clothes on, will you? Yes, sir. Up you go, thank you. This is exciting. This is freaking awesome. I want to see what Chef Ramsey has to say. I can't wait. That's my nightmare. What? Really? This is cool. Are you ready? Yep. I'm super excited. Oh, first person. Michelle speaking. Hi, Michelle. Uh, Chef, um, can you send tea to my office, please, immediately? Yeah, Chef. Thank you. Tea? Yeah. Chef Ramsey wants you in his office. When Chef Ramsey calls, you go run. I don't know what the fuck to expect, but all I know is that my inner person is doing backflips right now. I'm definitely excited. Come in. Hi, T. Hi, Sit Chef down, Harvey. please. How you feeling? I'm feeling well. You've been a fierce competitor from the beginning. I know how important food is for you. Where does that desire come from? I need to make a better life for my daughter. Mm-hmm. What's her name? Oh, man, Tamara. Tamara, how old is she? Yeah, she's 12 years old. Wow. Every, every time I cook, I cook to honor her, you know? Deep down inside, you're a very earnest girl. You want to get to the top, don't you? Chef, I definitely want to be at the top. I'm hungry. My advice to you personally, T? Yes, Chef. Be more focused, more disciplined, and more vocal. Yeah, step up. Thank you, Chef. Thank I you. Won't. Hello, this is Allison. Alison is chef. Can you send Randy to my office immediately, please? Thank sure, you. chef. Bye. Randy. Come in. At ease, soldier. Yes, Sit sure. down. Something you don't do that often. No, yes, chef. How are you feeling? I'm getting better, chef. You're a proud man. Thank you, chef. What does being in Hell's Kitchen mean to you? Everything. I've watched every one of them. I mean, I got. Hell's Kitchen tape my wife sent to Iraq. I watched it for 15 months on VHS when I was in Iraq. You watched Hell's Kitchen in Iraq? Mm Mm-hmm. Means a lot. Here's the thing. My concern is that you're always waiting to see how your team is doing. You still allow your team to screw you because you go into it doubting too much. Remember what I'm looking for. Head chef, not head line cook. Do you think you have what it takes to become a leader? Uh... I'm a good leader, chef. I'm not the most experienced chef in here, but I'm trying real hard. I give it 100% and I never stop. You have been one of the biggest surprises in this competition. I need you to stop worrying about your team and start worrying about you. Yes, chef. At this point, I'm just freaking out. I can't wait to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. I really want to talk to him. Hello, this is Alison. Alison, uh, chef, can you send Michelle to my office immediately, please? Thank you. Sure, chef. 
Michelle? Did you fight for your dish today? Um, not as much as I should have. That's what bugs me because it's almost like you're uh, accepting that you're the youngest, so therefore you have to be the one that's less heard. And I need to see you uh, as a little Rottweiler. You've got the tools, you've got the credentials. Okay. This is where I need to stand out. Yes, Chef. And I think there's more of Nick we're not seeing. Uh, I agree with that, I Chef. I don't know why. Um, stop being reserved. Yes, Chef. Some of the dishes you've made have been incredible. Thank you. But plain safe is not right. the way forward. Right. Oh. <laughs> Hi, this is Josh. Ask Christine to come to my office immediately, please. Yes, Chef, right away. Christine? Your journey here, okay, has been extremely bumpy. Yes, yes it has, Chef. However, um, your performance uh, in your last service uh, made me feel a lot better. Well, it kind of clicked, and I feel much more confident Good. and much more comfortable in there. Start becoming a little bit more aggressive. Got the message? Got it, Chef. Good. Chef Ramsay's words did give me a boost of confidence. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready to step up to the plate, and I'm ready to show Chef Ramsay I'm supposed to be here. Food's emotional for you. Yes. That connects. Where does that come from? I never knew what love was until I found food. Food is actually the only thing mm -hmm. that I've put 100% in. You get it back? I get my 100% back. You can't get that from any human being. It's, it's um, the trust. Yeah. The trust in knowing that if I do it right, that it'll, yeah. it'll come back. You are one of the most passionate chefs I've ever met. It's so nice to see. But sometimes a little bit too quiet. You're this yeah. big friendly giant. And I want to see you as a leader. That's the next stage for me. That's the bit that's missing. Okay. Yeah? Yep. You started this competition. One of the stronger chefs? Yeah, chef. Over the last couple of weeks, you seem to sort of be stepping backwards. You've got to stop accepting third or fourth best. Yes, yeah, chef. You're 100% correct, chef. Before I know it, I'm by myself. Chef, what about me? Hi, this is Josh. Hi, Josh, it's Chef. Um, is there anyone else up there? It's just me, Chef. Ah, OK. Uh, right away, right? Excuse me? You want, uh, I'm sorry, Chef. Do you want me to come down right no, away? No, no, I've finished with everybody. I'm sorry? I've finished with everybody, thank you. you you're finished, Chef? I've finished with everybody. You don't want to talk to me, Chef? Get your ass down here. Yes, yeah, Chef. Let's okay. go. Thank you. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Here's the thing with you. There are times across this competition that I think you've got the potential to win it. There are other times when I just want to throw you to fuck out of here because you make such stupid mistakes. I do. What Joshua am I going to get? Brilliant, chef. Brilliant Josh. I want nothing more than to, to win this competition. And I know I can, chef. <laughs> I swear to God, I know I can. I have a lot of fight. I need to see this, this hunger coming through that can drive their team to victory. Yes, chef. There's four of you in the blue team. From top to bottom, how would you rank your team? I would say myself, Millie, and then I would say Randy and Nick. I would give Randy the, the spot before Nick, Chef. I would. Michelle, then T, then Allison. And then I would rank Josh and then Randy. Allison, Christine, T. Josh first, Millie second, and then Nick. I'm going to go with Megan, Allison, Michelle, and then Christine. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. After concluding the private consultations, Team Professor. Chef Ramsay summons everyone for an important announcement. Let's go. First of all, it was great having a chance to meet you all one on one, let me tell you. On a more serious note, some of you do not have the support of your team. In our meetings, I asked you all to rank each cook on your team from the strongest to the weakest. Now, I've decided the lowest ranking chef in the red team and the lowest ranking chef in the blue team will be competing against each other. And the loser of this challenge will be going home When I asked you all to rank your teammates, the red team felt the weakest chef 
on their team was... Christine. I don't think I'm the worst chef on the red team. I want this, and I'm not gonna let anything get in my way right now. As for the men, you decided that the weakest chef on your team was... Randy. How'd you feel? No, it doesn't make you feel very good at all, chef. My team is wrong. I have confidence. I know I can cook. Christine and Randy, listen carefully. I'm going to give you an opportunity to prove to your teammates that you are worthy. You've both got 30 minutes to go make me three dishes from our regular menu. A stunning lobster risotto, a beautiful halibut, and then a bread pudding. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Your 30 minutes starts now. Let's go. Come on, Randy. Let's go, Christine. You okay? In the Cook for Your Life Challenge, Christine and Randy have one chance to execute three dishes from the Hell's Kitchen menu. Come on, Christine, you got this, girl. Taste everything. The chef who does it the best gets to stay in Hell's Kitchen. The other goes home. Just know what you have to do. Get organized. Take each dish and do it in your mind. Teammates can encourage, but are not allowed to give specific direction. Speed is of the essence, yes? Prioritize. There you go, Christine. Just set myself up. It sucks that my team picked me as the weakest link on their team. Good job, Christine. The red team can hate me or love me, but that's not going to make or break me. Come on, else. Keep focused. One thing at a time. You can see in his eyes when he's confused. He's mad at us. He's mad. He is mad. I don't give a fuck about him being mad. He got to cook these dishes. I'm so furious at my teammates. I am not the weakest chef. On the blue team, I got to be on my A game and prove them wrong and show them, hey, this guy can cook his ass off. Got this, Randy. Ladies, you can encourage Christine on if you like. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Focus. You're doing great. Stay focused. Oh. I'm a pretty good multitasker. Good job. So I just wanted to get the dessert started so that I could concentrate on the more difficult dishes. Bread pudding? I did not see that Chev had already given us base for our bread pudding. So I'm thinking, oh, we have to make this from scratch real quick. So I immediately make a custard on my own, get the bread soaking, and pop the bread puddings in the oven. Nice. Nice. I want to like yell things at her, but I can't. It sucks watching Christine in the kitchen and not being able to help her, but Christine has a lot of poise right now. She has a lot of confidence. She looks like she knows exactly what she's doing. There you go, Christine. There you go. Let's go, Randy. Come on, baby. You know what you're doing. This is easy for you. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Don't get frazzled, Randy. You got this. No. Don't do that. No, this is gonna make a mess. I didn't hear nobody shouting. I didn't hear nothing. I was thinking about those three dishes and those three dishes only. Think and slow it down. It's all you. It's just you. Just under 12 minutes to go, yes? Plenty time. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, Christine. You're doing Stay great. Focused. You're doing very good, Christine. I'm a little worried. When you're in the kitchen with other people, you can hide your flaws. When it's just you, whoo, them spotlights are 10 times brighter, boy. Yup, you got it, hon. Be careful. Oh. oh. She cut the inside part of the lobster, and I'm like, holy fuck, this is not good. I go in bad. Let's be gentle. Be patient. Nice. Everyone's clapping, whatever, but these are the people that put me up there. I don't really think they were that concerned. Take your time. You're doing great. You're doing great. Just under three minutes. Plenty time. Come on, Randy. Randy. Come on, Randy. Come on. Let's go, baby. Get it on that plate and go. You're doing great, babe. Come on, Christine. Come on, girl. Don't forget. Finish with confidence, Randy. Know what you're doing. You got it. I'm confident. I made it taste good but I'm not exactly the best plater in the world. Ten, nine, Randy, go, Randy. Be confident. eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, nice. one, and Good stop. Guy. Well done. Well done. Let's begin with Christine's dishes, please. Let's go. All three of them. All the pressure's on me. There's no team behind me. It is the biggest challenge I face. Thank you. Rice, uh, lobster risotto. Uh, visually, it looks nice. 
I think Chef Ramsay sees the potential I have and that, honestly, I'm a better chef than Randy. Seasoned delicious. But you're missing that wonderful freshness of the tomato coffee. I realized that after. I'm amazed you forgot that. Oh my God, these are little things that you just don't want to miss because this is life or death. Halibut. Visually, you got it now. Great sear. Fish is cooked beautifully. Clams cooked beautifully. Beans, vibrant. Halibut, you nailed that. Uh, dessert. I made you, personally, the base. I actually made my own base because I, I, I thought we had to make it from scratch, Chef. She made her crema glaze. Mm. I love the fact that you had the tenacity to make your own anglaise, but you cooked it rapidly and it sat there, but unfortunately it's gone dry. Damn. Finesse is very important in the kitchen, and I think that's Christine's downfall. Thank you. Could be good news for Randy, though. Right. Randy. Yes, sir. Sure. Let's go. If I don't cook all three of these dishes to uh, Chef Ramsay's standards, I, I could be going home tonight. We all don't want that to happen now, do we? Describe the risotto. I put the white wine in there, then I hit it with saffron broth, finished up with the lobster and the chives. Uh, lobster's poached beautifully. Seasoned beautifully. Um, you've forgotten nothing in the dish. My man's fucking killing it right now. Randy might have this. Go Randy. Halibut. So you've changed the design. Normally the garnish and the stew of those beans sits where? Uh, I wasn't exactly sure on the plating of that, Chef. The garnish sits underneath, the fish sits on top, and it's like the jewel on the crown. If I get beat tonight, it's because I beat myself on the uh, plating. Let's just hope he likes my bread pudding. It tastes good, but it's lacking. Uh, final couple tablespoons of that creme anglaise inside. Yes, sure. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sure. Christine made some mistakes. Randy Nell made some mistakes. I don't know what's going to happen right now. This test was critical because under pressure is where I feel I can judge you properly. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Christine. Please. Your time in Hell's Kitchen is over. The risotto that you missed, uh, the most important part of that, tomato coffee, and then the dry uh, bread pudding. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. I am very disappointed to leave Hell's Kitchen. I don't think I was the worst chef on the red team, but it's competition and people are gonna point fingers and I definitely was the easy target. But it was a great experience for me. I've learned so much from, from Chef Ramsay and had Michelin star chefs trying my dishes on a daily basis. I feel like I am 50 times better of a chef after coming here. In each of my meetings, I give you feedback on what you need to do in the second half of this competition. Take that insight and grow with it. Get out of here. Tonight was really a wake-up call. I gotta pull my shit together and let Randy be heard. It's coming down now, and I've got to start taking charge. It's down to the four strongest individuals on the red team. We're definitely a force to be reckoned with. We're kind of golden right now. At this point in the competition, you've got to be perfect because it's the minor mistakes that's going to cause you. I'm going to be the one to lead the blue team and making sure that we keep winning. Christine clearly didn't have the faith and confidence of a team. After giving her a chance to cook for her life, she didn't do enough to change their mind or mine. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Do you think that you're better than me? 100%. Wow. Yes. When a friendly rivalry crosses the line. You don't have the heart or the balls to be a chef. Yeah, I'm the heavyweight, and I'm not going down from a lightweight. Will it divide the blue team for good? And if you think you can run... Stop fucking talking over me, Josh. You're a fucking dick. 
And when Chef Ramsay books a special event for a local high school. Their homecoming dinner dance is right here in Hell's Kitchen. Will the demanding students push one chef so far? I think the grits are watery. I think it's salty. Fuck that salty bullshit. That she'll try to sabotage their big night. These kids are fucking annoying. Let's get these bitches up out of here. And will the celebration be destroyed by some careless cooking? Oh my God. It's all next time. What the fuck is wrong with you? On an explosive episode. I've never evacuated this place due to fire. Of Hell's Kitchen.